you're running those laps, you're, you're frustrated at first, maybe that first lap, you're frustrated at the coach like he did something wrong to you and then you start to realize what you did wrong and why you did it and how you could have done it differently. It's a learning process, right? Something that only a coach can help you hear because your parents tell you things all the time. To this day, your parents can tell you things that you may not hear the way that they're telling you because you're still trying to prove that you have something that's important or maybe they need to see you the way you want them to see you. Whatever it is, parents and children have disconnections sometimes that coaches fill. In my world, being a coach is part of our daily job. Coaching clients, coaching employees, coaching our team members, being coached, all the things that as a kid I probably wasn't great at. I was never probably the greatest coachable kid, but as I became an adult and learned from the very lessons I failed at, I started to really value the coaching. I started to really value the ability of connecting with somebody on a level that's so different that's, that's lifetime levels of everlasting value, right? It's something that goes beyond the norm. And I, I actually had the pleasure the other day of finding some things that really made me think about the everyday coaches, okay? So all of us grew up doing something, whether you played piano or you played the guitar or you played soccer like me or basketball, you had coaches and mentors that were part of your life. And I was going through some old records and I just saw some certificates from the years of my old days of playing in my Catholic school soccer team. And I had some of the greatest years with my buddies on those teams. And we played all the way through like kindergarten through seventh and eighth grade. And I'll never forget the fun things that we did and the relationships we had. But this day, I was really focused on thinking back on the coaches. And, you know, one coach in particular had us all those years. Mr. Army was our coach and he's no longer with us, but I'm very grateful for every single second that he invested in me as an individual. A coach when you're a kid is one of those things where you, you kind of take it for granted in the moment. Even parents sometimes we take it for granted, but it's another way of connecting with your children that, that, that's providing such a positive influence. I was disciplined on the regular. I mean, I ran more laps. I can still see him telling me to go run a lap. One time I was practicing the flip throw in, which I could do quite well in the sixth, seventh and eighth grade. And it was quite popular when I was a kid. My kids laugh at me today about this, but I was practicing the flip throw in and man, I got it dialed in and I flipped and threw that ball and hit him right in the back of the head. I ran laps the rest of that practice. And I never forgot that lesson. I never forgot to look around and, and, and evaluate my surroundings before you do something stupid. You know, really when you could have done it differently. It's a learning process, right? Something that only a coach can help you hear because your parents tell you things all the time. To this day, your parents can tell you things that you may not hear the way that they're telling you because you're still trying to prove that you have something that's important or maybe they need to see you the way you want them to see you. Whatever it is, parents and children have disconnections sometimes that coaches fill. And I'm so grateful to have thought back on some of those coaching relationships. I'm so grateful for the years that every day after work, these coaches take time to invest into these children, children just like me, children whose parents were both working sometimes working two jobs or long hours. You know, I'll never forget coaches sitting with me at the end of practice, waiting for my parents to come pick me up. Taking time out of their day every day after work, how tired are we? How tired is mom or dad when they come home from work after getting the kids up and getting them to school and feeding them and doing everything you do in the day and then go coaching? I know that I've done that and I've coached a lot of years in my life and I think it's one of the most fulfilling things I have. The face you see, the wave you get, the, the, the feeling you feel when someone comes back to you and tells you something you said or did in their life that you don't even remember saying because it was so mundane and average and regular to us, but it was so impactful and powerful and, and amazing 
to the investment in that child. And, uh, and I, I remember coaching my sons at two and three years old in soccer and four years old and running on the field with two twins who didn't want to play. And, and you know, we, had, we, we held their hands and helped them kick the ball. And I mean, I will never forget some of these moments, but I did it because people like Mr. Army and my dad and the people around me invested in me in the same way. I actually coached my first team when I was in the seventh and eighth grade. We had the mini mites that we called them and they were five and six year olds and the eighth graders and seventh graders would coach the younger teams at St. Gregory's where I went to school. I started coaching as a seventh and eighth grader and it's something I always valued, something I always loved. Being a teacher, being able to invest in somebody else, seeing the results that somebody gets when you invest in them, and sometimes watching failure and seeing how we deal with it and helping kids with the very things that they're gonna have to deal with in life. Because sports, music, whatever it is that you're learning as a child is all representative of what you're gonna use later in life. If you don't learn to fail early and often, life it can be very difficult, right? And coaches help us along the way. I still sit on the sidelines sometimes and have moments with players where I know that, that it was a difficult situation for them. But because I'm older and because I've been there and I failed at the very same thing, I might know the right word to say. And I often might say the wrong ones. All we do is the best we can, just like our parents. I've done that video before. But the reality is I just wanted to take a moment to A, thank the coaches that are investing in our children. I'm so grateful for all the boys, coaches that my kids have had and that, that they listen to, to the point where now they think, I don't know anything. You know, dad doesn't know anything, but coach says, which is exactly what we want. We want people to invest in our children in a way that helps them become good humans. And that's really what I've always tried to do. And I think what the coaches around me have always tried to do. And man, I'm so grateful for the ones that, that were like Mr. Army and the other ones that invested in me growing up. I had some coaches that, that weren't as great. Um, I had some coaches that I challenged quite heavily and deserved to run extra laps in. And I had some coaches that really saw greatness in me. They saw something special in me that I didn't see in myself maybe at that moment or time. And just that glimmer of belief in you is so special and so powerful that I just wanna remind you that if you're a coach and it's mundane and you're picking up every day and you're doing the same old thing, don't forget that you're investing in every one of those children's lives and more of them will remember you than you even know. And things you've said in passing will become things that they live off of for the rest of their lives. No different than many of you teachers that watch the videos. You do this every day, we know. You are very, very appreciated. Coaches are someone that are like teachers, but after hours. And so all I know is the best part of my career, the best part of my job, the best part of my life is whether I'm coaching children or adults today and finding that value of how we can take it to the next level, how we can take them to the next level, or maybe we can just help them get through something that's tough. So thank you to all the coaches and uh, thank you to my coaches that helped me get where I'm at. It allowed me to continue to learn and remember that I don't have it all figured out. There's still days where I need to go run some laps and figure it out. I'm Scott Danner with Freedom Street Partners. Tag your coach below. Who's the coach that you've worked with that's helped change your life? Is it a business coach? Is it a soccer coach? Is it a music teacher? Is it a teacher in general? Who have you worked with in your life that's given you everlasting data, information, advice, anything. Tell me, share your story with me. Thanks for your time. I'm Scott Danner.